behalf of your staffs, teachers, the administration, the Common Board of Education, and the entire community, I wish you every honor, achievement, and success in coming years. And throughout with your teachers, my fellow administrators, and our board and confident will be an exciting and fulfilling lives for all of you. Congratulations.
I unearthed a stained golden shirt from our class trip to Philadelphia. I was immediately brought back to that special moment when Fun's We Are Young came on at the Hard Rock Cafe and the entire fifth grade class erupted into song. I know they remember too. I finally found a massive desk reference manual that I had once hollowed out with a carpet cutter. Back in the days when every elementary school kid wanted to be a super spy. Inside the secret compartment, I found the next clue. This one pointed me to a picture frame in my living room. Behind a pencil drawing that I made for the Mystery of History project in my sixth grade English class, I found the third clue. It read, Hello, future Michael. I am fond of your skills. I really think we share a way of thinking. Also, a sense of humor. That may not be a coincidence. Here is your next clue. I have many times broken bones, and your next hint lies on top of me. I was completely stunned. All that I could gather was that the fourth hint would probably be located on a Fushi E magic anti gravity ball that my brothers and I used to own. I searched all around my house. I combed through middle school binders that I hadn't opened in years. I emptied shelves of silly bands, 24 cards, and Pelham Recreation participation trophies that I had been untouched in just as long. I looked in every place imaginable before determining that the ball must have been thrown out years ago. The glue gone with it. After three nights of searching, I had to give up on the journey that connected me to my younger self. In that moment, I realized that just as it was impossible to speed up the clocks the way I wished to do when I was younger, it is also impossible to turn them back. The Fushigi ball, the next clue in the scavenger hunt, all those experiences that I relived in searching for them, they're all left behind in the past. And as though it wasn't enough, just yesterday came one final blow. Our old childhood stomping ground, where the four square and manhunt were once played, was demolished. So that a new Hutchinson could be built in its place. On a day like today, when we focus on the end of our time as students in Palm Memorial High School, I urge the class of 2019 to just take a moment. Take a moment to remember the experiences that made us who we are today. Think back not only to the days we wish we could relive for the rest of our lives, but also to the days that we wished away. Remember your best yearbook picture. But never forget that one that you couldn't retake. <laughs> Remember the triumphant section titles, but don't overlook the seasons that ended in Harvard. Remember the friendships that have lasted since kindergarten. But don't forget the ones that faded away over the years. Remember the second grade love letters that you wish you hadn't written. <laughs> but also the ones you wish you had. As we move on from our time in Palm and think back to the past, we can only be sure of one thing, that the future will continue to be a mystery. So let's keep our vision 2020 and our spirits forever 2019. Thank you and congratulations.